Hey everyone, and welcome to Natural Language Processing, Deep Learning in Python, Part 6. In this lecture, we are going to talk about what's in this course, what you can expect to get out of it, and how to make sure you're prepared. This is my biggest deep learning course yet. You're going to learn not just one, but four new model architectures that can be used for deep learning tasks. In the first section on word embeddings, I'll show you the famous word to vec model and how it can be optimized using various approximations and coding tricks in NumPy and Fiano. Next, we'll look at an alternative to word to vec and the one I prefer, the glove model, which closely resembles a technique from recommender systems known as matrix factorization. In fact, we'll see how a lot of those techniques can be applied to GloVe to enhance training. Next, we'll take a step back and revisit two classical NLP problems, parts of speech tagging and named entity recognition. Before, we just assumed that an API could do this for us, but now you'll learn how you can do it on your own. You'll see that neural networks can be used at pretty much every stage of your NLP machine learning pipeline. Finally, we'll discuss new state-of-the-art architectures for sentiment analysis, in particular, ones that can handle negation effectively. We'll be looking at recursive neural networks and recursive neural tensor networks. If you remember, sentiment analysis is also a classical NLP problem. So what do you need to know to really fully understand this course? Since this is part six, I'll assume you have most of the knowledge from the previous courses, especially the fundamentals. You'll want to be familiar with softmax, its derivative, gradient descent, and backpropagation, because you're going to need those to understand word to vec as well as glove. You'll want to be familiar with recurrent neural networks, which we studied in the last course, because we'll use those for parts of speech tagging and named entity recognition. We will also make use of recurrent neural networks when we study recursive neural networks. So you want to be especially comfortable with the Theano scan function and have some experience with tree algorithms. If that all sounds hard, it's because it is. Take your time and make use of the discussion board. Your questions will most likely be answered within 24 hours and possibly even faster. See you in the next lecture.